right? This video is going to go over the chapter Who Rules Part 2. So you will need to be in Canvas. And it will be down here. It's chapter Who Rules PT2, Part 2, has 15 points. So I'm going to click on that. Now I have done this with previous classes. So I am going to click Take Quiz again. Uh, anyone who has not done this will click Take Quiz. Again, this is homework, classwork, classwork, homework. It is uh, not a quiz. Specifically, if you are doing this on your own, you would also want to have Chapter Who Rules up so that you can reference this and go back and look for anything that can help you here. So I've got both of those open and I'm going to click this. All right. Again, once you're doing this, make sure that you are not clicking, like if I'm clicking the top one, you're not clicking the top one just because you think they're the same. These answer choices shuffle. All right, so identify the type of government for Switzerland. Citizens elect representatives to sit in two different lawmaking assemblies. But citizens also vote several times a year to decide on laws. Citizens can vote to propose their own laws or undo laws passed by their representatives. All citizens may vote directly on these laws. So our options are monarchy, direct and indirect democracy, communist and socialist, or dictatorship. Now, obviously, I've been doing this for a while, so I know the answer. If you did not, you want to look at these specific words in here. So elect, representatives, um, also directly. So those are kind of our key words of what we're looking for over here. So you might have to go back and check out, you know, these. Or it might even be easier to come down to the questions and see if you can find those words down here. So all the power, no. King or queen? No. Uh, one leader? No. Citizens? Okay, maybe, because they're making choices, right? Here we go. Elect leader. Representative democracy. Also kind of here, directly involved in day-to-day -day work, because they did say they were directly involved. So this might be it, too. So now if I go back and I look at this, I should be able to definitely decide that this is going to be democracy. Now, indirect is representative. They're synonyms. All right. Then we've got now question two. Identify the type of government for South Africa. From 1948 through 1994, official policy in South Africa gave white people all the power. Even though the majority of South Africans were black, non-whites could, could not influence government. While South Africans elected representatives to sit in a lawmaking body. Oh, white. I said while. Or not white. Okay. The options are direct democracy, representative democracy and monarchy, theocracy, and representative democracy and oligarchy. So. What we're looking for is, so there, there is an election with elected representatives. And if we look at before, we, we know that this is then representative democracy because it's what was up here and you see this word representative, so that should be a hint. So this already narrows it down to representative and monarchy versus representative democracy. <laughs> <laughs> representative democracy and oligarchy. And I spelled that wrong. That's amazing. All kinds of spelling mistakes. All right. So the difference we're looking for then is monarchy and oligarchy. Which one fits better? So if I go back here and I look for those, so monarchy says a king or queen. So it did not mention king or queen in here. 
So that by default puts us with this. If we were to kind of just, it can't be this, it can't be this. If you're looking at oligarchy, oligarchy, it's a small group. And considering that the white population was the minority in South Africa, we would say, yeah, that's a, that's a smaller group. So representative democracy and oligarchy. Okay. Identify the type of government for North Korea. One man leads North Korea. So that's right there. One. And controls its government. He also controls its ruling political party. The ruling party chooses candidates for an assembly and citizens vote. The candidates do not have opponents, so citizens have no choices. So I'll tell you right now, with citizens not having choices, we're kind of looking at this is a eh. This is mm, maybe, but mm, this is definitely not it because they citizens have no choices. A monarchy we've determined is a king or queen, so it does not mention that here. So we're kind of left here with these two. Um, the previous chapter didn't talk about communism that much, but it did talk about dictatorships. And this is pretty close to that um, because this one guy really is in charge. Even though you do have this, this party that kind of gets elected, it doesn't really do that much. So this is a tougher one because you're dealing with potentially two, but this is the better answer. Number four, identify the type of government for Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia is led by a king. The king appoints council of ministers to help govern, but there are no elections. Saudi Arabia's basic law states that the country's constitution is the Islamic holy book, the Quran, and other religious traditions. So we are looking, religious is kind of important. So whenever you're looking at this, try to pick out some of the nouns because those are an adverb to those nouns because that's where your big hints are going to be. So king, that's your, your noun, right? That's important. Um, Elections, so and the fact that it's there's no elections is your sign. <laughs> um, we've got holy book, Islamic specifically, but holy book and traditions, these are all signs. So, by a king, we should be able to knock this down to at least these three monarchy, monarchy, monarchy. So, now we got to look at theocracy, communism, and republic. So, I'm looking at Let's see. It doesn't really, the other one didn't talk about communism, and you do need to kind of know that republic means indirect democracy. But I'm going to go in here and see which answer choice would I pick for maybe theocracy. So here, a government that recognizes God or divine beings as the ultimate authority. So it did mention that. So this is going to be. Uh, monarchy and theocracy. And what you should also be picking up is that a government can be one of these, two of these, it can even be three of these. All right. One person is in charge in A. I think these might go in order. This is kind of review. So, government in which one person has all the power. So, autocracy. No, it doesn't go in order. Just kidding. All right. Citizens have no rights in a... Oh, no, it does. I'm stupid. All right. <laughs> Dictatorship or democracy. I guess maybe. Maybe they don't. All right. One leader has absolute control over everyone's lives. So, dictatorship. Led by a king or queen. Let's see if we can find... There it is, king or queen, monarchy. Nobody is in charge. Let's see if we can find something with no one in charge. Let's 
Here we go. Nobody's in control. Anarchy. Number nine. Those in charge are military members who took over by force. So let's look for force and maybe military members. So again, I'm picking out these kind of nouns and maybe the adverb that comes in front of it. All right. So looking for force and military. Did I miss it? Oh. It is in here, but it doesn't say it specifically. So I would, if I were doing this alone, I would have to go back. And I would have to look at what this is. So obviously I know the answer, so it's easier for me. But if I were just doing this on my own, I'd have to look. All right. I would probably immediately say, all right, it's not democracy, so you could narrow it down that way. So nine is check ten. Ten. Democracy where citizens elect others to serve in government. Now, we had some other um, questions up there that dealt with this, so I could just go off based off of that and go with direct. I could also go in here and find, you know, where democracy is underlined and then try to, you know, there's two here, decide which one it is. So, no. Representative. So democracy where it is representative. Eleven citizens vote to elect their leaders in a we've got autocracy and democracy. Hopefully now you know it's democracy. A small group rules the country in a and again, if you know what democracy means at this point with the voting. Um, and everybody being able to vote, then you should be able to narrow it down pretty quickly to oligarchy. People do not answer to any leader or government in A. And if you figured this out, small group rules, right, that that's what this is, then it, it has to be anarchy because this is a small group ruling. Two more. We have got God and religion. God and religious law are the government's authority in A. Um, it's going to be theocracy. We saw this further up in the one that I, with Saudi Arabia. And finally, democracy where citizens participate in lawmaking themselves. So the other one up there was representative. So this one is going to be correct. And then you're going to hit submit. And make sure that your kept score is 15 is uh, higher than 12. So you must get a 12 or higher. Hopefully with me giving you the answers, you've got that. All right. And that is chapter who rules part two.